Hey, I'm Bill Nightway. I'm Bill Spy, the sixth grade science guy. You'll like to know what I think forms a hurricane, right? Well, as a professional and expert in the field, I will tell you. The question I will answer is, how do hurricanes form? My claim is, hurricanes form in tropical regions when warm moist air rises and is replaced by cooler air, which creates a convection cycle that causes huge clouds to form. These storm clouds begin to rotate and form an organized low-pressure system that forms a hurricane. My first piece of evidence supporting this claim is Investigation 3.4, investigating how warm and cool air move. In this investigation, we put hot water and cold water in two convection tubes and use punk sticks to see how the air was moving. The air in the convection tube with the hot water was rising up and had some water droplets on the side which meant water vapor in the air had condensed because the sides were cold. In the convection tube with cold water, we saw the air sink. I learned that warm air is less dense and rises, therefore it has low pressure. In hurricanes, the warm air rises and creates a convection cycle, which I will talk about later. My second piece of evidence supporting this claim is Investigation 4.1. Air masses of different temperature and humidity meet to form convection currents. In this investigation, we had three setups of convection tubes. The first one was crushed ice and crushed ice, the second one was hot water and hot water, and the last one was a tea candle and crushed ice. We used punk sticks to see the movement of the air. In the first one, crushed ice and crushed ice, the air went up a bit, and then sank down. In the second one, hot water and hot water, the air rose up. In the last one though, a tea candle and crushed ice, we put the punk stick over the crust ice. The air sank and then passed through a convection bridge. Then the air rose up. Not long after the air rising up, it sank down again and the cycle repeated. I learned that in warmer areas, the air is a warm or moist air mass, which is a large amount of air that has the same temperature and moisture throughout it. In colder areas, they can be cool or dry air masses. This relates to hurricanes because hurricanes form in tropical regions which are warm and moist and easy to evaporate. My third piece of evidence supporting this claim is Student Worksheet 4.R, Convection on Earth. In this worksheet, we drew what happened with the tea candle and crushed ice in the convection tube. I learned that the cycle of air being heated and rising, then being cooled and sinking is called the convection cycle. In the forming of hurricanes, the warm air rises and condenses. The air cools down and sinks, then it gets heated again. When the low pressure air rises up into the high pressure air, this creates wind. The convection cycle also helps the hurricane to grow bigger. My fourth piece of evidence supporting this claim is Investigation 4.2, Modeling the Effects of Air Pressure on Cloud Formation. In this investigation, we put hot water in a bottle and applied pressure by squeezing the bottle. We also used punk sticks to visualize the air. When we squeezed the bottle, simulating high pressure, clouds did not form. When we didn't squeeze the bottle, clouds formed. I learned that clouds form when there is low pressure. The air rises and condenses because it is too cold. This forms clouds. When a hurricane forms, it is important to have warm air and low pressure for it to grow bigger. My fifth piece of evidence is Investigation 6.1, Modeling a Vortex. In this investigation, we had two water bottles on each other. The top water bottle is upside down. There was water in the bottom bottle. To model a vortex, we have to turn the bottle over and then spin the bottle. When the water bottle was spun around, we made a small vortex. This simulates the behavior of the Coriolis effect, which is due to the rotation of the Earth. I learned that vortexes are made from the Coriolis effect. In hurricanes, the convection cycle has air rising up and rising down. And with the Coriolis effect, the air will spin and make a vortex. To conclude, hurricanes form in tropical regions when warm moist air rises and is replaced by cooler air which creates a convection cycle that causes huge clouds to form. These storm clouds begin to rotate and form an organized low-pressure system that forms a hurricane.